What's going on everybody? Welcome back to this episode of G4 Outdoors. A lot of people on this channel have been anticipating the update video of the Cub Cadet Ultima ZT1. Let's get into it. For the love of guitars, girls, green grass and guns. Yeah. Now, first off, I can honestly say they did get me a new mower. They did replace it. It took a month for them to do that. So if you're having any issues with your Cub Cadet and you take it into your dealer, plan on it being a while because right now is a heavy season for lawnmowers getting repaired. You have your commercial people getting theirs repaired. You have your residential people that are just getting their mowers out for the summertime, realizing that they're not running too sharply, so they take them in and get them repaired. So if you're taking your mower in to get it fixed at the moment, plan on a long wait. Doesn't matter where you go on that part. So I do have month tall grass out here. I've been on vacation for 10 days, so I've had no way to mow my yard. Um, it's besides the point. Let's go back to the mower. So I did get a new one in, came in with 0.13 hours on it, so less than an hour. Sent my old one in with three hours on it. And as you guys saw in some of the other videos, you might've saw a private video of mine of how bad this deck actually vibrated. So another thing that I learned along with the Cub Cadet representative coming out and talking about this mower, I purchased this mower specifically for my land. Now all of my land together, I mow my yard, I mow my neighbor's yard, and I mow a field out back. Cub Cadet specifically said that the Cub Cadet Ultima ZT150 is not designed for over one acre. I got about three. Their website says that this mower is specifically designed for two to four acres. There's, there's a misunderstanding there somewhere. An individual, a Cub Cadet representative says less than one acre. The website for this mower says two to four. When you buy this mower, it has a sticker on it that says two to four acres. I would like to have that problem resolved. One reason, I'm sure that most of you, if you're buying a zero turn mower, you don't have a little bitty yard to mow. You have a big yard to mow, especially if you're buying a 50 inch. I mean, why would you buy a 50 inch if you just had this little bitty small piece to mow? No, you've got big land to mow. They need, they need to fix their advertisement on that. Now what most of you are coming back for this video for should be is because of the vibrating deck. If you've seen it, you know that this deck sat here and just acted like it wanted to fly away. It vibrated really bad when you started it up and it just, it just sat here and rattled and rattled. And within three minutes, I could not touch the belt on this anymore. It got so hot. I have made one strip across my lawn with this just to see how it did and uh, so far it's okay. So I'm gonna fire this up and we'll see if this deck shakes as bad as it did and my opinion on this new mower. So I hope the video shows it, but the deck vibration on this is 80% gone. There is still a good amount of vibration in here. Uh, one thing to compensate for that, it does have a three-year warranty. Just remember, a three-year warranty on this, you can take it in and get it repaired. Uh, with that being said, I, I don't think that the belt covered under warranty. So if you do happen to burn up belts, uh, that's something that's not gonna be covered. But the spindles are gonna be covered. And with the deck vibrating, I'll dig here, I'll dig in here and show you the, the actual mechanisms in here, how, how steady they are or not. I haven't looked at that personally. But in the long run, that's gonna wear out spindles, it's gonna wear out belts, and so it's gonna to have to be taken in at some point in time if it gets too severe. So keep that in mind. So now that we got that opened up, let's take a look down here. And previously, it was this tensioner spring right here. 
I can already tell you that spring is a lot stronger than my last one. Uh, yeah, my last one was really, really loose. So let's see how this works on the inside. So as you can see, the, uh, the spring in here is quite a bit stronger than the last one. My belt is a little bit warm at the moment, nothing to be concerned about. But you could see that there was a little bit of vibration in there. And when it comes to warranty issues on this, I would like to mention a couple of things. My local Cub Cadet dealer, I called them up and said that my deck is vibrating really bad. Uh, I did go out, I bought a new belt for it. Hoping that the belt was the problem with it. I was thinking that maybe it was spliced together wrong. At any rate, I called my local cub up. He said if the belt is not jumping off of it, run it. That's not the way to treat your customers. I don't appreciate that. Uh, I called up cub, not telling them anything. I just said that I got a really bad vet, uh, deck vibration. They said that they've had a couple of calls on that and what they would recommend is go in there, make sure everything was tightened up. Uh, best case scenario, take it down to your dealer. Well, you see what my dealer done told me and I will roll in some clips. Uh, I'm not gonna roll the whole thing. I'm gonna cut it up, get down to the point. Let you hear for yourself that this thing is not made for more than an acre, that a little bit of vibration is, is okay. And this is a residential mower. All right, guys, we're back. Keith's here. This is the rep for Cub Cadet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some time out of this guy's day. You guys have left a lot of comments in the videos, okay? I'm going to address some of these comments you guys had with him, and we'll try to get you guys some answers. Uh, let's start off by talking about the deck vibration issues we had on that original machine. They have that original machine. Cub Cadet's going above and beyond to get that into the technician's hands, trying to figure out what this problem is. Sure, absolutely. Uh, we picked up Andy's machine uh, last Wednesday. We have it sitting with our engineering department right now yeah. uh, in Cleveland, Ohio. They're going through it piece by piece, part by part, but we're pretty confident that, that this is an isolated issue. Uh, there's gonna be some vibration involved with 100%. all those with, with all those functions going on, but uh, you know, still yet, we feel like this is fairly isolated. Uh, incident but we are taking the time to uh, go through this with our engineering department and our bank of service technicians like when is the best time to engage pto absolutely we want the blades engaged at maximum rpm corporately we call this the rzt yeah and the r stands for residential and that means your residence for uh, sure. you know this is designed for that weekly mowing at an individual's home. That's what the ZT1 and the ZT2 are designed for. For sure. If you're just looking to mow your yard, I would say up to one acre, one time per week, this is gonna be a great machine for you. That ZT2 platform, in my opinion, is made for that person that may have an acre, two, maybe even three. <laughs> Three's good. Three's okay. Three okay. Be great. Three's I'm sure it's normal if anybody goes on vacation for quite a while and they don't have anybody to mow the yard, anybody's yard is going to wind up like this uh i was left without a mower for one month so let's get into the meat and potatoes of this brand new mower and see how it does on your average lawn wondering where in the hell i'll ever get back home just another night of sleep again i catch up to do it till i'm all right still what i've always done off on the love of guitars Green grass and guns. Yeah. I was busted outside the bus at a show in Memphis. Guess I shouldn't know who I was asking for a light. Spent the night and a half the cage. Couldn't wait to get back on stage. Now I'm alright. Woke me up a little appetite. Green grass and guns Everybody sing A bang bang Shoot them guns I'll be long gone For the morning Come to this A chain chain On the guitar strings Moving in the moonbeams Bet you hear the people scream Yeah We love to have a real good time 
Okay, so that was my first cut with it. I have it set down to three inches. And uh, let's walk along here and see what it looks like. Uh, of course, I'm going to have to weed eat. So take the weed eating into consideration. Dandelions, you can't do anything about dandelions. But you can see how that really... The suction on it is pretty good in my opinion. It took a lot of these whirly birds and took them out of the crack and threw them out. You can see how far it actually dispersed the grass out into the yard. I know you saw that while I was mowing, but it does a pretty good job with that. The difference between Andy with Cut and Clean TV and his videos, he says that there's a lot of stragglers that are left. Here's the thing with Cut and Clean. He's a professional lawnmower. He's used to running machines that are running 10, 13 miles an hour. I'm used to running machines that are only running 7 miles an hour. So, you know, even at that, I don't like to run my equipment at full speed. I like to run it to where it sounds like it's mowing correctly. And I like to run it to where I don't get beat up too much on the lawns. So when he's getting stragglers, that's because he's running this thing full out. And I just don't think that it's meant to be ran full out. I mean, yes, it's meant to be, but can it? No, probably not. Uh, but running at my speed, the speed that I like to run at for the size of yard, for the terrain that it's on, you know, it is a little bit bumpy. I don't want to be on this mower with my back jarring around and everything. So I run it just a little bit slow and I have it set on three inches as you can see. So as you can see from this length of grass, all the way to this length of grass this is supposed to be three inches so it did cut down the grass pretty good i'm happy about that i'm happy with the way it cut so let's get into the backyards and in a little bit i'm going to take you back into the field and we're going to let this cubby eat and then see if it's even hungry <laughs> And there you go. I was so excited to mow, I forgot to put gas in it. So uh, yeah, just a little bit of gas went quite a ways. As you can see on this backyard right here, this is my neighbor's backyard. It's cutting actually very well. I'm sure you can see as I was mowing it, it, it looked pretty good. There's a, uh, there's a little piece of grass right here. Something's going on with my... And again, if you can just look at the, the cut quality, I think it does pretty darn good. Uh, I'm learning how wide the deck is, so there are some places that I've missed. Uh, I'll just need to learn where to put my right front tire because it actually cuts off pretty close there to the tire. So, yeah, I've overstepped a little bit of boundaries here and there, but otherwise the cut quality is... I think the cut quality is pretty good back here and like I say that's not running at full speed and there's a couple of reasons for that it's it's going downhill 
the grade right here i don't know if you can see how steep this hill is it's not tremendous or anything like that it's been super wet here so i gotta really pay attention on when i come to a stop and when do i turn a corner so that's another reason why i'm going slower in this backyard again like i say i mow for the situation and at this moment in time this yard deserves a little bit slower of of a mow all right before i let you go i do want you to know that i do not have the best lawn in the world i've tried and tried and tried to take care of this but with these gargantuan trees it just doesn't take seed very well as you can see over here a lot of washout happens over here and that has to do with on grass May growing again plus the mows coming up the other one drank it one spoke the gospel the other one sang it one gave salvation the other one needed one was faithful the other one cheated i think i do have a pretty legitimate reason for double cutting this backyard in this area over here it is extremely thick and wet and uh, like i say it's been a very long time since i mowed it but i'm very happy with the cut uh, i did leave a uh, a couple of lines that it didn't cut but for as tall as it was and the mower it is i would expect that from it uh, my last cub cadet tractor it would not have done this good but all in all i think that's a pretty good cut anyway i'm gonna have to cut this video short right here i want you guys to stick around for part two when i take this out i'm gonna mow some heavy heavy grass tomorrow the sun is going down on me so we're not going to get much good video tonight so on the next video i'm going to mow the heavy field i'm going to see how the belt has held up i'm going to demonstrate how the uh, deck wash system i'm going to see i'm going to demonstrate to see how well that works i'm going to give my final overall opinion on this mower and my truthful one uh, truthfully right now I'm quite impressed with it still I'm still happy to have this mower just disappointed in the first month of having it and the issues that I've had but the issues are resolved to a satisfactory standard and it has a three-year warranty so there's really not much to worry about on it uh, if anything goes wrong I'll just take it in anyways come back tomorrow on G4 outdoors we will get this property done and see how it does in thick grass wet grass it's going to go through the mud a lot of people have been asking if the open tires actually fling them out a lot of mud in order to get back to this property i got to go through a little bit of a ditch and it's been raining a lot and this ditch has not dried out for me to go across so there's a possibility i get stuck in it tomorrow uh that'll be good for video it'll be bad for me but i'll bring you guys along so stick around for part two hope you guys enjoyed the video hit the like button hit the subscribe button leave a comment down below we'll see you in the next one i'm out and guns.